Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, this is the first episode of the Beginner to Advanced Scripting Series, and today I'm going to be teaching you variables, printing, and arithmetic uh, in scripting. So, let's get started. So, if you are a very new beginner to Roblox Studio, and just Roblox to, um, making games and Roblox in general, uh, this tutorial is somewhat good for you, but I recommend you learn how to actually use it uh, by like adding parts and stuff, building stuff, learning how to actually use these over here, the properties. Uh, and once you learn how to use these, uh, then you'll be a you'll be really ready to learn how to script. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, there's three types of scripts. Uh, there's a server script, there is local scripts, and there is module scripts. Now all three of these have different purposes, but we're only going to go with the first one for today. So uh, we're going to create a server script, uh, which is just the regular one. And as you see right here, it has the first line. Uh, the first line is always like this when you create a new script. And it says print hello world. Now let's see what this does. So if you go right here. Uh, you should see it says play. Uh, you're going to press this little drop down and press run. And this means it just runs on the server so it doesn't load your character in. And right here, as you can see, it says hello world. And if we press this, it takes us to the line uh, and the script. So, uh, what is this? So, this is printing into the output hello world, uh, which is the parameters that we put right here. And uh, as you can see over here, after this, uh, like, uh, after what it says, you can see, like, right here, you can see it says server, and then you can see um, it says script one. And what does this mean? So, here's what this means. So, when you hover over this and it says script one, that's saying uh, the path of it down here, but it's saying uh, line one okay of the script and right here it says server this is what it's running on so there's two places that it can run on uh, that scripts can run on in general and that's the client side and the server side and this one is running on the server side okay uh, but what happens if we change this so we can change this to whatever we want actually so you could say my name is cash and if I press run as you can see, it says my name is Cash, and it shows the exact same thing. What if we make a line uh, before this? Let me press run again. As you can see, it says script two because it's on line two. And now, if we go back and we could change this to whatever we want, like uh, the script is running, and this could show you that the script is actually working and running. Okay. But now if we disable the script right here in the properties tab, and then we press run, as you can see, it doesn't work. But then we enable it again, and it does work. So printing is a really good way to see if a script is working, and if you don't see the printing, then maybe you have an issue. So that's something to keep in mind. Also. If you don't have these tabs, you can press view and you can like open the properties, the explorer, all of that. Just an FYI. Um, okay, so let's get back to this. So we can actually uh, remove this and if we press run, you'll see what happens here. It prints literally nothing. Like it doesn't print anything at all. And you can do that still um, for debugging or whatever. You can just call print, but I mean, it's just a waste of time and resources because it doesn't do anything. So, let's give it something to print. So up here, we're going to create a variable. And now to create variables, uh, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, actually, there's plenty of ways to do it, but here's the two you're going to learn today. So you can do like this, variable equals, and then you set the value. Uh, so like my name is cash. And then you can also do it like this local variable 2 is equal to uh, we'll do 50 alright 
And now both of these work. So we can print variable and then we do a comma and do variable two. So if we press run here, as you can see it says my name is Cash and then it says 50. Okay? And now what are variables? So variables are like little things that you can store stuff in. So it, it's basically just like words and those words mean stuff. So that that's basically it. So <laughs> you could do like uh, value equals 50. And then if you called value, uh, the value would be 50. So this is like my favorite thing about coding, how you can like assign words values uh, because it's just cool. So uh, yeah, there's different uh, types of values too. Like not just numbers, you can do strings, which is like hello world, what it was doing before. Uh, you can do it in different ways like this, like hello world, that works the same, except this one goes across different lines. Uh, you could do uh, like this, hello world, with just the one parentheses, or not parentheses, but quotation marks. You could do this one, uh, no, not that one, but you get the gist. And yeah, you can do local, and we're gonna we're gonna get into scope in a uh, in a later episode. But just know that local just means like so local value equals we'll do fifty. That means anything above this, so anything up here cannot see it. So this cannot see it. Also, another value there is is you can do false or true. And if you print this value out, it would just say true. So those are called booleans. And uh, I'm just gonna name off some. So local bool equals true, local int equals five. And this is an integer. And then we can have local float equals 4.4. .4. And this is a float slash a double so floats can also be called doubles and floats but it just means it as a decimal and uh, local there, there's other things too like position equals vector 3 dot new and then you get this on like the coordinate plane and this is I'm going to teach you guys all about object oriented programming and all this stuff uh, which is really cool and you can start making your you can literally code your own Roblox game engine basically uh, with just Lua and it's pretty sick but um, yeah so uh, now I'm going to teach you guys how to add numbers and stuff so if you take the print function right and you do 1 plus 1 and you can do that, or you could do uh, minus one, or times one, which is the asterisk symbol, or divided by one, which is the slash symbol. Um, it would do a bunch of different things. So I'll show you the plus one, so that'd be two, minus one, which is zero, and then uh, we'll do times one which would be one okay and then divided by one right here as you can see I'll just zoom in there for you guys so you guys can even see it better uh, it says one again and then there's also more that you can do like to the power of one uh, so just one and then there's also percent one. This one's a little bit different. Uh, so percent one is basically like remainder. So this is pretty cool. So you could check if there's like a remainder. So uh, it's like divided by, but checking if there's a remainder. So uh, it says one if there is a remainder and zero if there's not. So 2% one, this would be zero, I think. Yep. But then if you did like three divided by two, there would be a remainder, so it'd be one. Yep. So this is like just dividing by, 
and then checking if there's a remainder. So you can also do this another way, uh, but we'll we'll get into if statements uh, like later on. But yeah, so this is basically it for this episode. Uh, there's a bunch of the other things you can learn, like uh, combining strings. So you can do print hello with a space in it, and then you do dot dot or this, and then you do world. And then this would just combine to make a string that says hello world. All right, so if we run this, it'll say hello world. And this is just combining these two values values together. So if I actually put like a five right here, it would just say hello five. And there's also another value called nil. And what nil is, it's like nothing. That's basically what it means, like it doesn't exist. Uh, the value is absent. It's undefined, doesn't exist, uh, like there's nothing. And it, they, it doesn't know what it is. Okay, so that's what nil is. So if you see like attempt to index nil with this or attempt to do this with nil, that just means that it doesn't exist and you can't find it. Like it just doesn't exist. Or whatever you're trying to use doesn't exist. Anyways, guys. That's it for this episode. This is a pretty small one because uh, this is like the basics. But in the next episode, we're going to get into harder, like not harder, but just a little bit more advanced things like object oriented programming, which is just like dot dot, uh, like game dot workspace. And that's really object oriented programming. And uh, we're going to also get into properties and changing them and stuff like that anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya